Thanks, everybody. There's a, as, as Connie always says, there's a time for planting and a time for harvesting. And this is. I'm always saying that. Yeah, he always says it. <laughs> he said it. But right before we started filming, that's what he said, just out yeah. of context. But, um, and so by that, I mean, you know, on tour, maybe you're, you're planting. You're not harvesting the words. You're kind of just seeing stuff, going to old tramway uh, stations and with asbestos in the ceiling and kind of just breathing it in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we had uh, we had offered to be a backup band for this uh, solo artist, and thereby we would travel all the way through the states down to California. And he said yes initially, but then he said no. And we said, you know what? Let's drive there anyways for fun. And so, but it was bittersweet leaving because, uh, you know, leaving home is difficult sometimes. But it was also nice, and maybe the song has a bit of both in it bittersweet huh <laughs> I, I th it seems like it's always been equally difficult um it's it's difficult in new ways new ways that you can't predict every time we we seem to find a way that like oh this is the new method for songwriting. We've got it nailed. You try that method again, it doesn't work. It's like a dynamically changing, the only constant is change in songwriting, it would appear. Sometimes it's more complicated than other times. Well, it, it's always, it's all, it always has its own challenges, but with, this, with Sun Leads Beyond, with that particular song, from my perspective, when Dev brought those first chords and the li first lyrics in, it was just a matter of actually making sure you leave enough space for the for what's there to breathe properly, and then just adding color and maybe some adv advice on the arrangement and the vocal harmony wherever it seems suitable, and just making sure you don't get in the way. Because when a song like that, when it has its this kind of nice rise and fall um, throughout the song, you want to make sure that you're not too busy or imposing yourself too much on the, the, the simplicity of it. Uh, it's Generally, it's very collective. Often one person, often me, will bring in a, a little a bit of an idea and then everybody else will fill it in around it. It's pretty collective in that way. And everybody does what they need to do. You know, you'll hear something in your mind and you think, oh, I got a hand free, so now I can play this, you know, xylophone with this free hand, you know, usually that's Dill or Isaac playing the, uh, doing the octopus. Personally, I get tired of listening to the same type of sound, so when a song starts high and it stays high, high level, high energy the whole time without kind of a break, you, I think you kind of tune out. If there is a formula, I think dynamics would be part of it, if we had to say. We write that, we have a board that we write it on, we wrote it's all about dynamics on a, on a whiteboard because it's always been something that we have been able to exploit just having a part and then managing to make it grow and grow and grow kind of over the course of the arrangement. And in this life, may I never be alone. I am loath to lose anything, so I have chose to refuse many things. I'll make it simpler. If you really want a nice guitar, but you're so afraid of using it, losing it rather, that you just don't buy it at all. I think uh, every song has multiple micro influences and it's, it's really hard to nail it down to something specific. In this one though, I do remember, I think I came up with the original chords on this guitar we bought from 19, 10 and it was a it's a lap guitar and it had this deep tone and the wood was really good sounding and uh, 
I remember thinking of Bob Dylan like in the when he embodied the, the train riding hobos of the Depression era, and he would write songs from their perspective, and I thought it kind of gave me that flavor. Well, because he would start a lot of songs with well, well, I'm going, you know, old traveling train riding songs. That was kind of a micro influence for that. And it'll just be like a kind of a, a new way of voicing a chord will we'll end up, that'll be something that I'll, I'll just kind of keep in my mind, and it'll be like, I want to put that on the next track just that voicing somewhere and that, so that'll just end up in one time little part in the song and i think like just little tiny moments of influence like that are what get splattered throughout rather than kind of projecting like one thing over the course of the song Shed their weight and cease to rain. 